Spanish collection. I know that you love to see what kind of little treasures people have, little beauty treasures. And I got the inspiration for this video from a gentle whispering when she showed us her beautiful ring collection. And I have to thank Gentle Whispering for inspiring me to do ASMR videos. She is the cure for insomnia. It's wonderful to look at her videos. But today we're going to look at my nail polish collection. I just went on and counted these and I counted 35 different nail polishers and I'm thinking that I could tell a few stories like where I got them and what I remember about them and then we can sort them by color structure so I can find the perfect color for every occasion and if you have suggestions for my next video what nail polish you would like to see on my nails please leave a comment and if you have requests of ASMR videos that you'd like to see so very open to suggestions but okay let's get to the story stories of these beautiful little nail polishers um, I see that I have a lot of women nail polishers um, well actually this is not Lumene here's Lumene shade of blue and I got this one from my previous job um, we were doing this beauty website for Lumine and I love Lumine how they are bold with their colors and the funniest names they give to their nail polishers like this is called Rebel Royal who would have thought that this color would be called Rebel Royal? And um, it's pretty fun, bold color. I wouldn't wear it to um, a negotiation or anything, anything important, but to um, maybe fun event, party, or finish hockey game. This would be the greatest color. So I think this blue one is the most it's just catching my eye. So I have a huge Lumene collection here. And let's put this one into the front of the front of this little black box where I keep my nail polishers organized from here on. And then what will go with blue? turquoise. Turquoise is a color of communication. Everybody who is within the communication business knows that turquoise is very inspiring. And uh, I happen to have two of the same, I think they have the same shade. And they are uh, from Essie. And this is like a luxury nail polish to me, at least. It's very durable, it's fun, and there's uh, quite a lot in each. So, uh, this 
my favorite. I like to wear it for summertime. To me, it's pretty weird <laughs> to wear these colorful shades during winter time, but the summertime, this is my go-to nail polish. I should put them here. blue button okay well now I, I caught my eye on this one um, it's it's angelic I, I bought it from Primark from London a couple of years ago and it's funny that only just this spring I saw the exact same shade in a shop in Berlin so this kind of lavender lilac never goes out of style. It's a real spring color and it looks really cool. It's pretty bold. And um, yeah, I like it. Yes. And um, from the same trip, I got this one. This is like a peachy nude color. It's matte. And it looks pretty good if you can just put it evenly on your nails. It's um, pretty pretty peachy kind of color, and I love it. I don't wear it usually because it, it's really hard to get it to stay stay on in even beautiful. orange one. I cut it for summer and uh, it's from Max Spector. And I like these small little nail polishers because that's just the right amount of color if you don't wear it too often. And it'll stay good for the right amount of time. So I think I've had it for like maybe a year or so. Here's a favorite from I think the last summer. This coral, coral kind of shade. Pretty lovely. And this is my favorite color. I love it. It's from Kix. And it's beautiful. And I think now that it is spring again. what I'm having on right now and I'm pretty sure it's this shade or this shade they're both from Lumene and they have this gel effect hmm. I don't know I kind of like these I, I have many many gel different gel effect um, nail polishers like these two this is a gel effect also, and this super pink one, and yeah, I guess that's it. I might find some some of those here hiding somewhere, but yes, these four. They're a different shade of pink. I think this is a pretty bold one. I don't know. I'd maybe wear it for a fun night out. I don't go out that often, so I haven't used it a lot. And this is a beautiful, like, very natural color. Um, I don't know. It's called poetry. <laughs> so you might feel pretty poetic when you're wearing it. It's good for everyday use. And this one is called Rainy Days. Yeah, it's um, it's a nice color. It reminds me of like um, uh, rose gold, which is a trendy color right now. I like it a lot. And 
And this one is called On the Beach. Hmm. I could think of many more uh, bold colors to wear on a beach, but hey, if it is gonna girl, wear it for the beach. And let's go for the for the most boring section here. This is just a remove nail polish to make your nails strong. I use it as a base. Or then I might use no actually not this one. Uh, this Lumene. And then this one for it can be used for base or coat. And um this is actually an oil for your cuticles. Use that if you are a heavy duty nail polish user because it'll keep your cuticles in nice shape. So yeah, this one, these ones and this one, these are the most boring, boring ones. I can tell anything interesting about them, so let's just put them away. Hmm. I see I have a lot of glitter here. This is for, for all of you party girls out there for New Year's or a fun night out. You might want to use a little bit of glitter. And here's more glitter. And here's more glitter. Actually, I didn't even remember I had this, so maybe I'll wear it for a fun event next week's Friday. Then I have my my life is gray and beige and boring collection. No, not actually boring, but I call these office colors. They're, they're beige. This is my favorite at the moment. It's called Nude Charm. And it certainly does have that nude charm. It's from Lumene, natural code. And yes, you have to be charming. So use nude charm. This one is also from Lumene. It's called Late Winter. And as it is beginning to be springtime, let's just move it away. And this is another Essie, Essie nail polisher. I, I kind of like it. It's a bit too dark to be a nude nail polisher, but yeah, for, for those winter days, this is good. Or, you know, after September, it's it's okay to use it, but not in May time or spring. And this one, I'm still keeping it. I don't use it anymore, but I don't. I can <laughs> let let it go because I bought it from Berlin. I think it was 2010. It's the first time I went to Berlin, and uh, it's really glossy, beautiful, natural. Mm, I don't know what to call this, but yeah, it's it, it was my favorite, and it brings back memories from all the times I used to go out back in 2010. So it's still hanging on with me. Hmm, I think this goes into the same series with the earthy tones, and it goes together well with this um, towel that I have. I think I haven't even worn it once. I don't know why, but maybe I will give it a go. And more of these earthy, earthy tones. This is actually called New York, and I kind of bought it because I think I was going to New York, and I saw it, and I was like, hmm, if a girl goes to New York, she should she should have a nail polish that says New York, and. I might still have some pictures of me in New York wearing this nail polish. All right, what else do we have? Oh, this I think this could have gone to the more glittery collection. Um, it's got Arctic minerals and it's called Shine On. So, yeah, definitely a party nail polish. What do we have here? A black nail polisher. I was rec 
requested to do a video with nail polisher, but um, sorry guys, not this time, but maybe next time. And this is from H&M, yes. It's not high quality, I don't like it, that's why I haven't used it, but it's still hanging on there, so maybe I will get rid of it. And remember, don't throw nail polishers in the normal garbage, but you have to recycle them, they are toxic, it's not good for environment, if you just throw it away, you have to take care of it in a proper way. And then, these are the ones that are left. I'm I'm crazy about pink. I'm like a five-year-old girl. This one I've had for ages. I like it how it's print pink and it's so chic. And well, I think it's getting a bit. It's not in this best shape anymore. But it's called Twinkle in the Eye, and you just looking at the color, you can see why. And this is so cute. Called flowery, I think it's good for you know springtime when the cherry for the time for cherry blossom and whatnot. It's got little sparkles, it's super cute. This one is my favorite from last spring, it's called At the Crack of Dawn. Well, it's a good nail polish for every occasion. See that my box is getting a little bit crowded. And this one, this is a cute one for toenails in the summertime. I, I can remember wearing it um, a few summers ago on my toenails, and I think it's still pretty doing great. It's orderly, and I think it's a quality label. This one I've used so much, there's only a little bit left. I don't know why, but it, it just reminds me of um, good times and maybe it's time to let it go, but hey, still love the color. Oh, I forgot this one. This one is also from my everyday collections. It's Mavala. I like the Mavala, how they have tiny, tiny little bottles and it's called Vanilla. I like these kind of uh, nude, peachy colors, so... I have to have that. And there's another gel effect nail polish that was hiding earlier. It's from Lumene. And it's this like a I've done things in my life kind of a um, dangerous woman. Woman who has stories. Where's this kind of nail polish? It's a bit too dark for me because I'm, I'm so fair. But yeah. I can see people like it. Um, this is for winter time. It's a top coat. It's like little snowflakes on your on your um, nails. It's called Diamond in the Snow, and uh, you can see the fun effect it makes. But since it's springtime, time to put it away. And here's a nail polish that I got from my mother, and. Real red. I save it for the last because I not know how you ASMR addicts like it. like to watch when people unbox things. So let's see what the nail polish looks like. Oh, I can tell it is real red. Wow, this is definitely choice uh, for a certain birthday party coming up and it's themed 1920s so I'll wear this with a matching lipstick. I will put it back into the box because I still have the box and things should be kept in the box if you don't use them too much. This was my nail polish collection, and here they are, where they belong, all together, and now I will say thank you, thank you for watching, 
have a good night and please leave comments and requests. Until next time, bye bye.